Hey guys! Welcome to another video of our Basics of Liquid Cooling series. My name is Matiz and today we are going to talk about what a custom loop configurator is and how to use it. We have a lot to digest today, so without further ado, let's dig right into it. First things first, where to find our custom loop configurator or CLC in short? It's located on the main page of our website, top left hand corner, very close to our logo. As soon as you enter CLC found on our website, you'll be asked to select main PC components, case, motherboard, CPU, GPU and of course RAM. You can also add multiple GPUs if you're using them. If you're unsure about the exact model of your CPU or GPU or anything else for that matter, be sure to check the box of the product, take a look at the backplate or if all that fails, take a photo of it and send it to our tech support as they might be able to help you. Better safe than sorry. Now let me just quickly type in our components. And done. And once you do that, the next step is to choose which components you'd like to cool. Let's select the CPU and the GPU. Next up is to select the main purpose for liquid cooling, either a silent operation, overclocking or both. Do not let this confuse you, whatever you choose, you'll still get all the benefits that come with liquid cooling. This will only select the part that you want to prioritize. Also, you'll be asked to select the desired type of RGB in your system, if any. Although, why wouldn't you? Once you scroll all the way down, you will see a rough estimate of heat load and the temperatures that you can expect in a custom loop and a recommendation for radiator position. The power figure that you see here on the screen is not the actual power consumption of the components, but the expected heat generated by the hardware expressed in watts. On the next page you need to select the tubing that you wish to use in your loop. Soft tubing which is more flexible or rigid hard tubes. As you probably know, soft tubes are easier to handle, since they do not require any additional special tools aside from cutting them to length. Hard tubes, on the other hand, can offer much more options to create bends and angles that you can't do with soft tubes. We're gonna pick hard tubing because I like tubes like I like my games. Hard. I'm telling everyone I've finished Elden Ring multiple times, but in reality, I can't even kill the grafted scion. Now we're getting to the fun part, personalizing your custom loop. On this page you are prompted to select the material type of your CPU and GPU blocks, size of tubes, style and color of fittings, and color of your coolant. With numerous possible combinations for you to create, especially when it comes to fittings where we have 5 finishes at the moment, such as black, nickel, black nickel, satin titanium and gold. White coming soon as well, by the way. All of that will allow you to truly make a unique, state-of-the-art PC that you can call your own. In the lower part of your screen, you get to choose your GPU block and the backplate. Backplate choice breaks down into two. You can select a regular backplate or an active backplate. Active backplate is basically a double-sided water block for your GPU. Instead of cooling only one side, it will also cool the other. And the neat part is that it still requires only one inlet and one outlet, so there is no need for additional tubing. Besides its aesthetics, some of the newer GPUs like the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3090 really need that active backplate in order to be cooled efficiently, since for example the VRAM on the 3090 is located on the back side, while the 3080 gets cooling for the PCB located around the front mounted VRAM. This way the coolant is channeled all over the critical areas of the GPUs. For our GPU we're gonna pick the ABP set which already includes the active backplate. As you can see the configurator clearly states the currently selected GPU block includes a backplate. If this looks overwhelming to you, fear not. If you select an incompatible part or something that can't fit your case, you'll get an error message explaining to you what the issue is. CLC is made for new users first and foremost, but if you still have any doubts about compatibility with your build, feel free to reach out to our customer support team prior to clicking on that order button. Next up is choosing your reservoir style. Some PC cases have distro plates available and those can enhance the visuals of your PC to a whole another level. But if your PC doesn't have a distro plate or that's not your cup of tea, you have a vast selection of pump combo units that could complement your build. However, it's important to know that distro plates, besides the looks, will make your building much, much easier, especially if the parts are Matrix 7 compatible. 
As most of you already know, the Matrix 7 is a new standard that aims to make the custom loop building more streamlined and expand the liquid cooling world to a wider audience so everyone can enjoy it as much as we do. Our case is compatible with the distro plates, so we're gonna pick out the reflection too. We are almost at the end of our journey through the CLC, and here you can see the overview of selected products. The last page will show you a complete list of products and their quantity required to build your custom loop. If you're happy with your choices, you can proceed with adding the items to the cart and completing the order. Once you get the parts and start building your PC, please be patient and make sure to read the manuals, because at the end of the journey, you'll be rewarded not only with the state-of-the-art PC, but also with a sense of accomplishment that you can't put a price tag on. Ah, the postman is here. One sec. Now let's build the state-of-the-art PC. 346 minutes later. All the parts that we picked in the CLC are now in this beautiful case. Now all that's left to do is to turn on the PC. And this brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Remember, stay cool.